Dr. David Klee has over 30 years experience as both a teacher of the flute and as a professional musician. He has performed in all kinds of musical organizations, ranging from classical orchestras to heading his own jazz group, the Jazz Express. With these Pro Minute video series, Dr. Klee will share some of his secrets with you on how to become a better flutist. Hello, my name is Dr. David Klee and welcome to another Pro Minute. The biggest thing about a flute, you have to put the mic in front of the blowhole because that's where the most of the sound originates. Probably 98, 99% of the sound comes from right here. So you have to put the mic in front, but the downside is that's also where the flute blows. And because of that, there is air. And so when you mic a flute, if you aim right at it like this, you're actually going to pick up the air coming out. What I do, I tend to think of micing just a hair higher where I'm actually blowing under it. And what happens then, I'm getting the sound, but I'm not getting the air. I'm not getting all the lip smacks and the pops. So again, I just try to aim a little under like this. And then what I do, you notice I'm not right on top. A lot of vocalists, when you use a mic like this, they might actually get right to it and actually be touching it while they sing. But to get too close, you get something called the proximity effect. When you get the proximity effect, you're going to ruin the quality of the flute sound. So I like to be, you know, three or four inches away. I get under it like this, almost like it's aiming right up the tip of my nose. And by doing that, I get probably the most uh, true and uh, rep true representative sound of the flute. And uh, so that's, that's what I do when I do live miking. And uh, it has worked very well for me over the years. This is Dr. David Clee. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and uh, you'll use this on uh, some of your live gigs. Thank you.